Hello friends, I will be teaching you how to make a little baby dress. The size is 0 to 3 months. You will need um, Symphonia yarn. This is a sport weight yarn, size 3. You can buy this at my Etsy shop or you can buy anywhere else. I will leave the link in the description below. You will need scissors, a ruler, yellow yarn, white yarn, and a size 4 hook. This is um, the bright yellow auction if you want to buy it at my exit shop. This is the C820. It says mango, but I have it listed as bright yellow because that's the real color. Okay, let's begin. First, chain, actually make a, a slip knot go around your finger twice bring this to the front pull the other one and make a slip knot now chain 67 1 2 3 4 65 66 67 now you will go to the third chain from the hook and make a half double crochet to make a half double crochet go around the hook once go through the chain pull now pull to the three loops you made the first half double crochet we will be using this one for the hole for the bottom okay now let's make one half double crochet in the next seven stitches one two three four five five six seven now let's make a half double crochet v stitch to make a half double crochet v stitch you will make one half double crochet chain one one half double crochet in the same stitch now make one half double crochet in the next 14 stitches now i have 14 half double crochet here i will make a half double crochet v stitch one half double crochet chain one one half double, double crochet in the same stitch now make one half double crochet in the next 16 stitches one two three one half double crochet in the next stitch i'm sorry one half double crochet v stitch now make one half double crochet in the next 14 stitches one two three one half double crochet in the next stitch now make one half double crochet in the remaining stitches you have you should have eight stitches one two three okay I say a stitches but actually you will make one half double crochet in the next seven stitches then you should have two chains left and you will slip stitch on the last chain to make that this will count as the last stitch so you will have a stitches slip slip through this one now you have a stitches when you count the last um, chain two 
Now let's begin with the second row. Chain two, one, two. Make one half double crochet in the same chain two space. Make one half double crochet in the next eight stitches. One and hide this little tail as you work. Two, three. Right here for the number eight half double crochet, you will work on top of the half double crochet v stitch right here. Then you will make a half double crochet stitch in the chain one space of the previous half double crochet stitch. You are inside. Make one half double crochet, chain one, one half double crochet. See? Now make one half double crochet in the next 16 stitches. One, two, three. Okay, I have the number 16 right here on top and I will make a half double crochet v stitch inside. Chain one, half double crochet. Make one half double crochet in the next 18 stitches. One, two, Three. Okay, one half double crochet, V stitch. As you can see, I'm just working around. I and I make one half double crochet on every half double crochet and a half double crochet V stitch in the corners. This is to make the divisions for the sleeves. Sleeves. Okay, ha my half double crochet v stitch right here now i will make 16 half double crochet for the other sleeve one two three one half double crochet v stitch in the chain one space from the previous one and make one half double crochet in the last nine stitches one two, three, okay, I had the nine stitches right here, now is to start the next row, chain two, make one half double crochet in the same chain two space, make one half double crochet in the next nine stitches, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right here. And you uh, will like, always work on top on this one. This one is kind of hiding, but you used to go on top make a half double crochet v stitch in the chain one space now make one half double crochet in the next 18 stitches one two three now one half double crochet v stitch in the chain one space Make one half double crochet in the next 20 stitches until you get to the next V stitch. One, two, three, four. Okay, one half double crochet in the chain one space. Half double crochet V stitch right here. Now make one half double crochet in the next 18 stitches, one half double crochet v stitch right here in the chain one space, 
and one half double crochet in the last 10 stitches and I will meet you right here at the end okay I just finished uh, round row three now chain two one half turn and one half double crochet in the same chain two space make one half double crochet in the next 10 stitches one two three make one half double crochet v stitch in the chain one space make one half double crochet in the next 20 stitches one two three okay this is the number 20 half double crochet make a half double crochet with stitch right here chain one one half double crochet make one half double crochet in the next 22 stitches one two three I think 20 21 22 now make one half double crochet with stitch one half double crochet in the next 20 stitches one two three eighteen 19 20 one half double crochet with stitch make one half double crochet in the next 11 stitches one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven okay now bring this here and make a slip stitch on top of first half double crochet right here pull now turn your work so you will work will work to the left chain one make one half a double crochet in the next stitch right here make one half double crochet in the next 11 stitches so I have one here plus 11 it will be 12 one two three make one half double crochet in the chain one space half double crochet with stitch chain three one two three and skip to the next half double crochet with stitch which is right here and make a half double crochet with stitch in the chain one space now make one half double crochet in the next 24 stitches this is the division for the slips so let's make 24 half double crochet one two three twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four right here on the top of the post now one half double crochet with stitch right here 
chain three one two three skip to the next half double crochet v-stitch right here and make a half double crochet v-stitch now make one half double crochet in the remaining stitches one two three okay i have 11 stitches right here 11 half double crochet and you will make one half double crochet right here in the last stitch now a slip stitch i'm sorry in the last stitch now a slip stitch on the first half double crochet okay this is how this will look as you can see i will be i have been increasing by two each round so right here i have 16 18 20 22 24 and on the side i have 14 16 18 20 and if you add this side with this you will have the same number as the front so let's continue this is round number six chain one one half double crochet in the same chain one stitch one half double crochet in the next 12 stitches one two three ten eleven twelve okay we have 12 stitches when we when we get here now you will make one half double crochet in the chain one space On this one you will you won't work on the top of the post you just make the half double crochet you just make two half double crochet in the chain one space now make three half double crochet in the chain three space one two three it looks a little light. like this now make two half double crochet in the chain one space of the next half double crochet we stitch one two make one half double crochet in the next 26 stitches one two three 25 and for this one we will work on the post 26 so we can have 26 stitches now two half double crochet in the chain one space we are now making half double crochet with these stitches only two half double crochet in the middle now three half double crochet in the chain three space one two three two half double crochet in the chain one space of the v stitch one two one half double crochet in the remaining stitches one two three four Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. A slip stitch on the first half double crochet. Okay, chain one, 
one half double crochet in the next stitch one half double crochet all the way around one two three four Sixty-one, sixty-two, sixty-three, sixty-four. Slip stitch on top of first half double crochet. Chain one. One half double crochet all the way around again. On this one we got sixty. On the previous round, round we got sixty-four half double crochet. So now we will make one half double crochet all the way around again for round number eight. One, two, three, four, sixty-one, sixty-two, sixty-three. We got sixty-three half double crochet because we started with one chain and make the other half double crochet on the next stitch at the beginning so let's make one half double crochet right here on the beginning chain so we will have a total of 64 half double crochet slip stitch on top of first half double crochet i'm sorry now let's use white And you will slip stitch with white pull make a knot on the back chain one one half double crochet in the next stitch one half double crochet all the way around so we have one two three and hide the tail as you work four sixty one sixty two and on the last one we will make two half double crochet to get 64 one two now one half double i mean a slip stitch on top of first half a double crochet chain one one half double crochet in the same stitch make one half double crochet all the way around this one is the first one one two three sixty one sixty two sixty three sixty four slip stitch on top of first half double crochet with yellow yarn Okay. make a note you will make a note on the back as you can see it's on the back could the white jump chain one one half double crochet on the next stitch one half double crochet all the way around this comes as the number one two three four sixty one sixty two 63 on the last one we will make two so we can get 64 
half double crochet now a slip stitch on top of first half double crochet okay we have the shirt you can make this longer if you want to i will leave it like this this measures i believe about 5.5 yeah and right here you should measure one two three four five on round number six to see if you have the right measurement for your baby it's about seven point five almost because this stretches a little bit to make the scale we will make a chain three one two three make make three double crochet in the same chain three space one two oh. to make a, a double crochet stitch you go around go through the loop pull go through two and go through the other two so i have one two three double crochet chain one skip one make a double crochet stitch so one double crochet chain one one double crochet in the same stitch for the first one the chain three counts as a stitch so you will keep doing this pattern so I skip one and make four double crochet I'm sorry chain one skip one make four double crochet one two three four chain one skip one make a double crochet via stitch one double crochet chain one one double crochet so you will do this pattern four double crochet chain one skip one make a double crochet v stitch all the way around and i will meet you right here at the end so i'm right here at the end i will chain one skip one and make a double crochet v stitch this is the second round for the skirt chain three one double crochet in the same stitch one double crochet in the next stitch two double crochet in the next stitches i mean in the next stitch so you have four plus the chain three chain one make one double crochet v stitch in the ch chain one of previous double crochet v stitch chain one skip the chain one space and work on top of the post right here make one double crochet make two double crochet in the next stitch one two make one double crochet in the next stitch two double crochet in the next stitch one okay so this is a total of six with the increase in the two stitches so right here you have only four plus the chain three this one is going to be a little bit different each round maybe about one less so this doesn't make any difference it's okay like that chain one the double crochet v stitch chain one and skip this and work on the next stitches you should do the same all the way around so you will chain one make one double crochet in the chain one space double crochet each stitch chain one skip this one and work on top of this one make one double crochet two double crochet in the next stitch one double crochet in the next one two double crochet on the other one 
so you get six do this all the way all the way around two chain one six and i meet you at the end okay i'm almost finished right here so i made already one right here two on the next one one two on the next one chain one a double crochet we stitch in the chain one space chain one slip stitch on top of chain three okay. to begin this round chain three one two three make one double crochet in the same chain three space two double crochet in the next three spaces So you will have a total of seven double crochet plus the chain three will be eight double crochet chain one one double crochet in the chain one space of the double crochet we stitch chain one one double crochet right here just keep the chain one and make one double crochet here one double crochet in the next stitch two double crochet in the next stitch one two one double crochet in the next two stitches one two two double crochet in this stitch the last one one two chain one make a double crochet v stitch in the chain one space of the double crochet v stitch and continue use like this the only difference will be that in this one you will make two double crochet and increase an increase of two two double crochet and another increase so you should have a total of eight double crochet and I will meet you at the end so I'm right here at the end chain one make a double crochet B stitch in the last one chain one slip stitch on the top of the first double crochet one two three three one double crochet in the same space one double crochet in the next three six stitches one two three four five six so six plus this one seven and the chain three eight chain one one double crochet with this stitch in the chain one space chain one skip the chain one space you will always skip the chain one space and go right here one double crochet and make one double crochet on top of each double crochet you should get a double crochet one two three four five six seven eight chain one one double crochet B stitch and you keep doing the same on this round on this round you won't increase so you will have a double crochet all the way around and that double crochet B stitches from here to the last round 
of jello you will keep doing the same so finish this one and make three more rounds and i meet you at the end on the number 19. So i'm right here at the end of round 16. i will slip stitch with white color make a knot on the back twice to make it more secure <laughs> okay now chain three one two three make a shell stitch the shell stitch will be made of two double crochet chain one two double crochet in the same stitch at the beginning you will have um, the shell plus the chain three now skip two one two make another shell stitch try to hide that tail skip two make a shell stitch one two and right here um you should work on this one but you will always work in the mirror skip two this one and this one. make a shell stitch skip two make a shell stitch skip two okay right here one two and you're supposed to work here so you so you work in the middle of the double crochet stitch and you will continue to do that until you get to the end so i'm at the end of this round we'll make a shell stitch right here and a slip stitch on top of chain three okay for this round there were two stitches where i got one stitch Oh, I'm sorry one stitch before I get to the double crochet V stitch uh, if you get one stitch only go ahead go ahead and make a shell stitch in the chain one space if you get three stitches still make a shell stitch in the chain one space if you want or if you can just make the shell right here and the other one right here as long as you skip the two stitches it will be okay if you skip just one it doesn't really make a difference because we will make double cro i mean shell stitches on this one and shell stitches on the other one so chain three one two three make a shell stitch in the chain one space of the shell stitch one two three chain one one two you will continue to do that all the way around in each chain one space you will make a shell stitch and i will meet you at the end and we will have this tail at the end okay i'm right here at the end slip stitch on the third chain pull and 
and cut. Okay. Now we will hide the tails on the back. Just pull, make a knot. I made this like three times to make it extra secure. Pull again. And we have this tail right here that is showing. Just one. Make another knot right here. Make another one for this one. You can do it just two times, but I'd rather to do it three times. And just check if you have any tails showing up. I don't have any. So this is how this looks. As you can see, it's, it looks very nice, like It has some volume and it looks really cute on the base. So now let's make the final details. You see? Which is um, the bow. We will put a bow here. You will need this ribbon. It is two by four yarns. Um, you can buy this at Hobby Lobby. need about so we will make the bow with this ribbon I will put the link in the description you can buy this at Hobby Lobby I will use um, 23 inches you just fold it by half make another one about the same the same go bring this one to the back And just try to make it look nice. This should be tied in the middle and these tails. Should be um, like this to the front. Now we will cut this. And seal. Cut the other one. Measure them. So they will be the same.
as you can see this one is longer than the other one so I will cut a little bit more Okay, now it's here in the middle. Okay, you will need a thread, a needle, and a button to attach to the back. You will attach this on the left side. Two. I go around this about oh. one second. Does this come out? Okay. About seven times or eight as much as I can put in there so it will be really secure okay. and go to the back it will look like this make a knot I just like to make it extra secure. So. Okay, it's ready. And these are the three chains that you made at the beginning for the bottom. That's how you attach the button. Oops. Now make a knot to attach the bow. Two, three. I always make like three because it is easier for me to work with with a thicker knot. And you will attach the bow right here in the middle, like on the top of the white one, the first one. Go to the back. This is a little harder to go through. have cream on my hands so that's why it's not so we are attaching the bow sometimes it's a little harder to And you will do the same here. Make sure that, that the bow is um, secure. Okay, now I made about seven times of that make a note on the back okay cut this 
and you have this little dress finish this is how it looks i hope that you learned something if you like this video and would like to see more videos please like it and subscribe to my channel um, i hope that you learned something thank you so much for watching bye bye